Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hasham Ali Khan. So now I am going to start the next problem on computation of income from capital gain. So far, 10 problems I have completed on how to compute the income from capital gain. All the problems are on long term capital gain. So if you have watched all the earlier videos, definitely you are in a position to attempt to solve the problem on capital gain. So the, all the problems are based on the theory. So before starting the problems, I expect that my viewers have already watched the videos on theory. Without understanding the theory, you should not come to the problem. Every problem will be a difficult one. So now I'm going to start the 11th and in this video, I'm going to complete 11th and 12th problem. So before starting the video, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I've given in the link under my description. So always keep reading the problem and take a screenshot of the solutions of 11th and 12th problem. See the 11th one. Sri Kiran purchased a building for Rs. 3,15,000 in October 20, 2001 and gifted to his daughter Mrs. Jeevani in January 2003. The other particulars are as under. Actually the building was purchased by Sri Kiran but later on Sri Kiran has uh, gifted the property to his daughter Miss Jeev Mrs. Jeevani. So presently the ownership is, the owner is Mrs. Jivani. We are not concerned with Sri Kiran. And one point is there, it's a special mode of transfer that is gifted property. The person who got the property through gift has not paid anything. So Income Tax Act says the cost to the present owner is the cost to the previous owner. So whatever cost of acquisition of Sri Kiran is there, that cost of acquisition will take for Mrs. Jeevani. So the other particulars are as under some additions were made in January 23, 2003 for 2,10,000. This is the cost of improvement and renovation of the house capital expenditure in August 2005. So after purchasing the building, two times improvement has been done. First time it was done in January 2003 by incurring a cost of 2,10,000. Second time again renovation capital expenditure is incurred in August 2005. So two times will take cost of improvement 46,800. If the house is sold on 15th January 2021 current previous year for rupees 22,10,300 and selling expense are 35,000. If the cost inflation index for the year 2001-2002 was 100, 2002-2003 is 105 and 2005-2006 is 117. Calculate capital gain and remember our current previous year is 2020-21, 2020-21 and for 2020-21 the uh, index number is 301, 301 that is not given in the problem but we have to remember. Our current previous year is 2021 and for 2021 the index number is 301. That's it. Now see the solution carefully. Mrs. Jeevani computation of income from capital gain for the assessment year 21-22. Consideration received 22,10,300. These are the sale proceed. Consideration received. From this we deduct selling expenses 35,000. Deduct. We'll get 21,75,300. This is the net consideration. From this, we deduct, first of all, indexed cost of acquisition. Indexed cost of acquisition. Actually, this property was acquired by Sri Kiran for rupees 3,15,000. But Sri Kiran has gifted the property to his daughter, Mrs. Jeevani. So the cost to Mrs. Jeevani is the cost to Mr. Kiran. The cost of acquisition to the present owner is the cost of the previous owner. So 3,15,000 into 301 current year index number divided by when the property was gifted in January 2003. 
Yes, Mrs. Jivani in January 2003. That means previous year was 2002-2003. So during 2002-2003, index number was 105. It is given in the problem. 105 is the index number for 2002-2003. So we got 9,3000 as the indexed cost of acquisition. Now improvement was made in January 2003. So we'll take calculated indexed cost of improvement additions. So incurred 2,10,000 is the cost incurred. Now multiply the index numbers 301 current previous year divided by. When the improvement was made again in January 2003 only. So 2003 only means 2002-2003. So index number 105. So you'll get 6,2,000 is the cost of uh, index cost of improvement. Again, capital expenditure on renovation was incurred by incurring 46,800. This is in the year 2005, August 2005. So 2005-2006 is the previous year. So 2005-2006 index number is 117 given in the problem. So multiply 46,800 into 301 by 117, 1,20,400. Now add up the cost of acquisition and cost of improvement. Add up all the three. You will get 16,25,400. Now deduct. 21,75,300 minus 16,25,400. You will get 5,49,900. This is the long term capital gain. That's it. In this problem, only it is asking you to calculate LTCG. And we got LTCG. That's all. In working out, you should write. The SSC got the ownership through special mode of transfer. The SSC is Mrs. Jivani. She got the property through gift. And when the property is uh, obtained by gift, it is called special mode of transfer. In theory video, I have explained this. So the cost to the previous owner is the cost to the SSC. The cost of Sri Kiran will be the cost of Mrs. Jivani. Actually, Mrs. Jivani has not purchased. She got in gift without paying anything. But whatever cost to the previous owner is the cost to the present owner. Then the SSC and the previous owner got the asset before 1-4-2001. Oh sorry, after 1-4-2001. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 11. Now, 12th problem, see carefully. Sri Ramakant, a non-resident Indian, is leaving to America to settle there permanently. He sold the following assets in India during the previous year relevant to the current assessment year. Calculate the capital gain income and tax liability if income under other heads is nil. So SSC is a non-resident Indian. He is leaving to America. So before leaving for America, he has disposed of all his assets. Now we want to calculate how much is the capital gain and tax liability for this person. Serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 10 assets. He is selling article, then year of purchase, cost price, CII, cost inflation index, sale price, then use of the article. This is the information given. Now, one by one, we'll see. Motor car. Remember, motor car is a personal asset. It is not a capital asset, so not taxable. So according to the provisions of Income Tax Act, motor car is not a capital asset for calculating income tax. So don't. Only in working note we will write on here. Motor car, TV set, silver chair and agricultural land are not capital assets. Hence not taxable. That point you have to remember. So the second one is house number one. It is capital asset. House number two. It is a capital asset. TV set. Television set is a personal asset. Not a capital asset. Not taxable. Painting work, it is a capital asset. Gold ornaments, it is a capital asset. Silver chair, it is a personal asset, not taxable. Urban land, it is a taxable capital asset. Agricultural land, it is assumed that this agricultural land is in rural area. So it is not taxable, not a capital asset. Precious stones, it is a capital asset. So out of 10 items, Four items are not capital asset, we should not compute. Those four items are motor car, TV set, silver chair and agricultural land. Now remaining six, six assets are taxable, right? So here, 
श्री रमाकांत नॉन रेजिडेंट इंडियन हाउस नंबर वन हाउस नंबर टू पेंटिंग वर्क गोल्ड ऑर्नामेंट्स अर्बन लैंड एंड प्रेशियस स्टोन दीज आर दैपिटल एसेट्स विच आर टैक्स Now consideration received are the sale price. Here sale price is given for house number one six lakh, house number two twenty lakh twenty five thousand six lakh twenty lakh twenty five thousand. Then TV set TV set will not come. Painting work painting work two lakh. Here I have taken painting work two lakh. Like this all sale price is given. Selling expenses nowhere given. It is not given selling expenses. So put a dash. Net consideration we got. From this, we get indexed cost of acquisition. Now, in working note, here indexed cost of acquisition. I am calculating for all the six assets. House number one. What is the purchase price of uh, cost price of house number one? Two lakh ninety six thousand. So two lakh ninety six thousand into current year previous year index is three not one divided by what is the index of purchase year given in the problem? It is uh, purchase year index is one forty eight. तो डिवाइडेड बाय 148 तो न्यूमरेटर करंट प्रीवियस ईयर इंडेक्स और डिनोमिनेटर ईयर इंडेक्स नंबर ऑफ द ईयर ऑफ परचेस दिस हाउस नंबर 1 वाज परचेस्ड इन 2009 2010 एंड द इंडेक्स नंबर एट दैट टाइम वाज 148 सो 148 तो 296 इनटू 301 बाय 148 6 लाख 2000 ईयर आई हैव टेकन 6 लाख Similarly, for house number two, the house number two purchase price is four lakh forty thousand. It was purchased in two thousand thirteen fourteen, and the index number was two twenty. So four lakh into three not one by two twenty six lakh two thousand. Painting work, the painting work purchase price was thirty six eight hundred. During the previous year eleven twelve, index number is one eighty four. So thirty six thousand. 800 into 301 by 184, 60,200. Like this, we have to calculate the indexed cost of acquisition. We have to calculate indexed cost of acquisition. Now, direct 6 lakh minus 6 lakh 2000. You are getting minus 2000. 6 lakh 2000 minus 6 uh, 6 lakh minus 6 lakh 2000 is minus 2000. This is a long-term capital loss because negative value we are getting. It's a loss. So there is a long term capital loss on sale of house number one. House number two, twenty lakh twenty five thousand minus six lakh two thousand, fourteen lakh twenty three thousand. It is positive capital gain. Similarly, two lakh minus sixty thousand two hundred, one lakh thirty nine eight hundred, positive capital gain. Nine lakh thirty thousand minus three lakh one thousand six twenty nine, positive capital gain. Five ten minus three not one two not nine capital gain. Ten lakh minus six lakh two thousand three lakh ninety eight thousand capital gain. So out of six assets, only one asset we have capital loss. That is house number one. Remaining all other assets we have capital gain. So according to the provisions of Income Tax Act, capital loss can be deducted from capital gain, right? So here, house number one minus two thousand. House number two fourteen lakh twenty three thousand. Painting work one thirty nine eight hundred. Gold ornament six twenty nine. Urban land two not nine. Precious stones three ninety eight. Now minus two thousand plus fourteen twenty three plus thirteen one thirty nine eight hundred. If you add up, you'll get twenty seven lakh ninety six thousand eight hundred. Twenty seven lakh ninety six thousand eight hundred. This is the total LTCG. Now, here in working note. Motor car, TV set, silver chair, and agricultural land are not capital assets and not taxable. The residential status of the SSC is non-resident. First line it is given: the SSC is a non-resident and he is having income from LTCG only. That is no income under other heads. See one point, new point is given: this non-resident SSC is having only LTCG. He does not have any other income. If he has any other income, then basic exemption of two lakh fifty thousand would have been given. But there is no other income; only LTCG is there, so exemption will not be given. Basic exemption will not be given. The total LTCG is taxable at a flat rate of twenty percent. So basic exemption of two lakh fifty thousand is not allowed. The entire capital gain is taxed at a flat rate of twenty percent. 
So tax on LTCG, 20% of 27,96,800. 800. It comes to 559,360. This is the tax on LTCG. To this we add health and education cess 4% as usual. So 4% of this amount, you'll get 22,374. Add up 581,734. The last two digits you see 34 is there. So remove 4, make it 30. So 5,81,730 is the tax liability. Ha! Huh. So in this video, two problems I've explained. That is 11th problem and 12th problem. So inshallah, the next problem will continue in the next video.